There is something for everyone on Naxos, from ancient sites and ruins, through wide beaches and natural attractions, to a colorful underwater world. Explore the most beautiful corners of this island. The island of Naxos is surrounded by tourist strongholds such as Santorini and Mykonos. It is a beautiful island ideal for a relaxing beach vacation, family holidays with children or active hiking trip. Naxos offers exciting sights, as well as good local restaurants and beautiful sandy beaches. In short, everything you need for a peaceful holiday by the sea. Naxos belongs to the Cyclades in the Aegean Sea and is the largest island in the archipelago. There are many beautiful places on the island, from ancient monuments and ruins, through wide beaches and natural attractions to a colorful underwater world. Watch this video till the end and see what else Naxos has to offer. You don't have to take notes. We have included all the practical info in the description below the video. That's where you can also find links with accommodation, tickets to attractions and tips on how to pay abroad so as not to overpay on currency conversions. Thanks to the ancient history of Naxos, there are many cultural attractions on the island that are worth seeing. Ruins from all eras have left their mark and allow tourists to be transported to the past. The capital of the island is Hora located right by the sea. Taking the ferry to Naxos you will directly get to the port of Hora. The town has restaurants, cafes, stores and typical cycladic streets with white houses. The Castro Castle complex towers over the island's capital. In addition to the typical cycladic architecture with white and blue houses and cobbled streets, you can also admire Venetian houses and the Castro Castle other attractions in Hora include the Archaeological Museum, the Site Museum of Naxos Metropolis and the sandy beach of Agios Georgios. The symbol of the island is the Naxos Temple Gate also known as the Portera of Naxos. The mighty gate stands on the small island of Palatia near the harbour as the only remnant of the unfinished Temple of Ligdamides Dionysus. The marble gate was built 2,600 years ago and is nearly 6 meters high and just over 3.5 meters wide. The giant portera is believed to be dedicated to the god of sun, Apollo. This is because it points to Delos, which is the birthplace of Apollo. Halki is the old capital of Naxos with charming Venetian streets, taverns and Byzantine churches. The village of Halki in the mountainous valley of Trigia is 20 minutes from Hora. It was once one of the largest and richest towns on the island. Today only about 500 people live there. Despite its small size, Halki is considered the most beautiful village on the island of Naxos. It charms with its Mediterranean style and gives an authentic insight into the original life on the island. In the north of Naxos, near the village of Apollonas, there is a huge ancient statue now known as the Kuros of Apollonas, also called the Colossus of Dionysus. The unfinished marble statue is more than 2,500 years old and more than 10 meters high. It is located in an ancient marble quarry which is one of the oldest quarries in Greece. Sanctuary of Demeter was built entirely of marble more than 2,500 years ago and is one of the earlier Ionian temples in Greece. Unlike most Greek temples, the Temple of Demeter, measuring 13 meters by 13 meters, is square rather than elongated. The temple has been restored and partially rebuilt. Mostly marble fragments found in the area were used. There is a small museum right nearby. The nature of Naxos is as diverse as the monuments. Mount Zeus, the legendary birthplace of Zeus, is visible from every place on the island. Take a stroll through the ancient streets of Chalkio and visit the mountain village of Aparanthus. It is the crown jewel of Naxos where you can admire the authenticity preserved over the centuries. There are old houses and churches, as well as traditional souvenir and handicraft stores. Philodi is the largest village of Naxos, known for its agricultural products, such as grapes, olives, cheese and wine so it is definitely worth a visit. In tripods you can admire typical white houses in narrow streets or visit a beautiful church with large red windows. When we think of Greece, we assume that the culinary specialties are olive oil, souvlaki, olives, gyros, feta and ouzo. On Naxos you can experience something completely different. 
the island produces delicious cheese. Names such as Graviera or Kefalotyri will not only make your tongue twist but will also provide an unforgettable taste experience, especially when combined with local wine. Another delicious specialty is Kitro liqueur which is available on Naxos in three versions, green, yellow or clear. The best thing to do is simply stop in a typical Greek tavern on Naxos and try all the local specialties. What is more, Naxos is popular for its exceptionally tasty potatoes which have unique taste. Naxos offers many beautiful and inviting beaches scattered throughout the island. Agios Procopios Beach is one of the most stunning on Naxos. It is unique not only because of its crystal clear water but also because of its spectacular panorama of the mountains. Those who favor water activities should not miss a sailing cruise on Naxos. You can also scuba dive and swim to old shipwrecks or reefs such as the Black Rock Reef. You can also see a sunk airplane wreck. Most clubs or bars are located in larger towns. There are beach bars with sunset views, large clubs and many dance parties. At the Ocean Club on Naxos you can shine on the dance floor with popular music but you can also go to a concert or party with a DJ. If you're already planning your trip, you can find accommodation and tickets to attractions on the spot in the links under the video description. You can also order a card for cheap payments abroad the same way. Press the bell and subscribe to our channel if you want to receive notifications about new episodes. Have a nice trip!